Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create an AI quiz app using MIT App Inventor. So uh, let me show you how this AI quiz app works. So first this AI will ask us a question when we click on the start quiz button. So let me click on start, start quiz. What is 5 times 3? You can see that it is asking what is 5 times 3. So let me tell the correct answer by clicking voice answer. 15 excellent you can see that when i tell the correct answer it shows excellent now to uh, now let's me, let me click on next to go to the next question what is the sum of 9 plus 5 now it is asking what is 9 plus 5 so let me tell a wrong answer this time 12 wrong good luck next time you can see that it says wrong whenever I say a wrong uh, answer and it says good luck next time. So now what I'm, let me go to the next question. What is 20 divided by 4? Now this time let me get, tell it correctly. 5. Excellent. You can see that it says excellent. Now let, when I click on next, uh, now the quiz is over. So when I click on next, it will tell me the score. You finished the quiz. Your score is 2. You can see that when I click next, it shows my score. It tells the score as 2 because I answered 2 questions correctly out of 3. So now let us see how to create this app using MIT App Inventor. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first we are going to bring in an image. So let me put the height and width of this image to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen. So the width should be fill parent and you can see that this image is occupying the whole screen. Next, we are going to upload a picture of an AI robot. So I have given the link to upload the pic the link to download the picture in the description below. So you can download it and upload it to MIT App Inventor. Now, after you upload it, you can see the image. So if you want, you can also use an another image if you want in this image one. Next, let's go to layout. And here we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement. Let's put the width of this to be fill parent. Next, we are going to put the align, align horizontal and align vertical of this arrangement to be center center. Both should be center like you can see here. Next, let's go to user interface and from here we are going to bring in a button. Let's change the text of this to be start quiz. Now, if you want, you can put a background color. So I'm going to make the font of this to be bold like this. Now, let's just duplicate this. And we are going to change the text of this to be voice answer. So this is the voice answer button in which they will click and answer the question. Now let me again duplicate and here I'm going to put next. So this button is for the user to go to the next question. Next what we are going to do is we need to use the text to speech component and then the speech recognizer component. So let's go to media and here you can see text to speech and speech recognizer. So we are going to use speech recognizer to find what the user is telling the answer and to ask the question we will use the text to speech component. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create some variables so let's bring in this block and the name of the variable is going to be questions list. So in this questions list variable we are going to save all the questions which we, which you are going to ask in the quest. So let's go to lists. And here you can see make a list this block and here you need to put your list of questions now if you have 10 questions click on this button and here you need to bring in 10 items now just to show you an example I'm going to put only three questions but if, if you want you can put more so let me just bring in this here and now you can see that there are three sockets in which I'm I can put the questions so let me go to text and here I can start typing the questions now you can see that I have put the three questions. If you want, you can add more questions by clicking this button as I already told you. Next, let's duplicate this variable and here let's change the name of this to be answers list. So in this answers list, you need to put the answers to the questions. So to the first question, which is five, what is five times three? The correct answer is 15. So let's just put 15 like this here. 
what is the sum of 9 plus 5 let me just put 14 here and then 20 divided by 4 let me put 5 here so you need to put the answers for your questions respectively in this answers list like this next what you need to do is let's go to variables and we are going to create another new variable so this variable is question number and we are going to set this variable to be so let's go to math and we are going to put question number to be one so we are going to use this variable to find the question number next we are going to duplicate this and this is going to be question and we are going to set this to be an empty string so let's go to text and here you can see the empty string now let me just duplicate this and here the name of the variable is answer next the robot needs robot or the ai needs to ask the question to the user so for that we are going to create a procedure so let's bring in this like a procedure and here the name of the procedure is going to be ask question now you can see that the procedure is created so inside this procedure we are going to put what how to ask the question and how to take the how to get the question from this list so first what we are going to do is let's set the questions list to so here you can see set global question 2 and here what we are going to do is we are going to select one item from this list from the questions list we will take the so now you can see that the question number is one so we will take in the first question so set global question 2 here let's go to lists and here you can see there's something called select list item let's bring in this and here the list is going to be the questions list so we will get the questions list and then the index is going to be the question number now what it will do is it will set this variable to be so now you can see that the index is one because the question number variable has one in it so it will take in the first index which which is the first question and it will set it in this variable so the same way we are also going to set the answer so global answer to and also make sure that when you are setting these variables make sure you set this to be question and not questions list so this variable and this variable is different so make sure you put the question and the answer instead of the list so here set global answer to and here let me change this to be answers list and this one should be global question number like this next what we are going to do is now we have found out the question which we need to ask next we need to tell this ai to ask the question so for that we are going to use the text to speech component so let's bring in this block called text to speech one dot speech message so the message is going to be the question so it will get the global question so let let's go here and here you can see get global question so it will ask the question to the user next what so after we create this procedure what we need to do is when they click on start quiz it needs to run this procedure so let's go to here you can see button one when button one dot click so button one is the start quiz button which you can see here so when that button is clicked we are going to call this procedure so that it will ask the first question of the quiz so let's go to procedures and here you can see call ask question let's just bring in this block like this now after this AI asks the question the user needs to click on this voice answer button to answer the question so let's go to the block section and we are going to bring in when button 2 dot click this block so when the voice answer button is clicked we are going to get whatever the user is speaking using the speech recognizer so let's just bring in this block call speech recognizer 1 dot get text now after the speech recognizer 1 dot after it gets the text which means it finds what the user is speaking we are going to put if conditions to find whether the answer is correct or not so let's go to control and here you can see the if condition let's bring it here next let's go to math and we are going to bring in the equal to operator next we are going to get the result so the result is whatever the user is picking so if the result is equal to answer so let's go here and here here we are going to get the answer which means that the an the, the answer and whatever they are telling is equal then it means that the answer is correct so let's go to text to speech and here we are going to speak make this robot speak a message the message is going to be so let's bring in the string the message is going to be excellent because the answer is correct now you can see that whenever uh, i have put excellent whenever the answer is correct next we are going to put the else condition so let's go here 
and let's bring in the else so else means if the answer is wrong so it is not the correct answer we we are going to tell them wrong so let's let me just put wrong here and i'm going i'm also going to put good luck next time now you can see that whenever they answer wrong i have put this so that the robot can speak like that the robot or the ai now what we are going to do is now after they answer the question and it tells whether it is correct or wrong they will go to the next question so this button button 3 so in the block section what we are going to do is let's go to button 3 and here you can see when button 3 dot click so here what we are going to do is we need to go to the next question so to go to the next question we are going to increase the question number we are going to increment the question number so let's set the question number 2 we are going to go to math and from here we are going to bring in the addition operator next we are going to let's bring in we will get the question number like this and then we are going to add one to it so let's go to math and here you can see let's change the number of this to be one so what this means is it will get the current question number so now you can see it is one and it will add one to it so that the question number is two and again it will add one to two and it will become three so the same way it will go to the next question now after it it sets the global number to the correct question number what we are going to do is we are going to call this procedure so let's just duplicate this call ask question so that it will ask the question which is the next question because we have changed the question number next we need to keep a track of the score so for that we are going to create another variable so let's duplicate this and here I'm going to put score and we are going to set this to be so let's bring in a math block like this and we, we will set the score to be zero at the beginning next what we will do is whenever the user is answering a question correctly we need to increment the score as it is same as we did it here so let's just duplicate this and here we are going to change this to be global score and then here again global score so that it will increment the score whenever the answer is correct so let's put it here now what we need to do is so we have done the score next what we need to do is when they click on the next button if all the questions are over it needs to tell the user the score so for that let's go to control and we are going to bring in an if condition so here we are going to let's just duplicate this the equal to operator and here we what we are going to do is we are going to check whether if the question number let's just delete this if the question number is equal to three which means all the three questions are finished which means the quiz is over so here you can put how many if you have 10 questions make sure you put 10 here because only after all the questions are finished it needs to tell the score so here in the here what we are going to do is after we put this if course if condition so we are going to duplicate this the text to speech and here what we are going to do is the message is going to be the quiz is finished and then here you can see i put the quiz is finished and then what we are going to put is your score is and make sure you put a space after your score is like this next let we are going to bring in a join block because we need to join two items so first we are going to put this one and then it needs to tell the score so we will get the global score like this and then in the else section so let me go to else we are going to put all of these blocks inside the else section so here you can see the app the voice quiz or the ai quiz app so now what i'm going to do is let me click on start quiz what is five times three you can see that it is asking what is five times three so now i'm going to give the correct answer 15 excellent you can see that whenever I say a correct answer, it says excellent. Now I'm going to let me go to the next question by clicking on the next button. What is the sum of 9 plus 5? So it is asking 9 plus 5. The answer is 14, but I'm going to tell the wrong answer. 12. Wrong. Good luck next time. You can see that whenever I say a wrong answer, it says wrong and it says good luck next time. Now let me go to the next question. What is 20 divided by 4? It's asking 20 divided by 4, so the answer is 5. So let me answer it here. 5. Excellent. You can see that it says excellent. So if you want, you can add more questions. Now I'm going to click on next. 
and it will say that the quiz is over and it will say the score. So let me show you. The quiz is finished. Your score is 2. You can see that the score is 2 because I have answered 2 questions correctly out of 3 the three questions. So if you want you can add more questions and you can make this app a very big quiz app. The AI quiz app. Next, do you want to create your own voice assistant which is like Google Assistant using MIT App Inventor? Watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor here.